Um, obviously, huge win for us today against a very good Duke team. Uh, and I just, again, I've said it all season, but the way this group responds to any kind of adversity or down moment, you know, i.e. the Notre Dame uh, game, uh, they just, they always find a way to respond and do exactly what's needed to, to bounce back. And so they did that tonight and led by this one next to me. Amazing performance, um, but just I'm really, really proud of our defensive effort and uh, what we were able to hold Duke to, uh, shooting percentage-wise and, and overall points. Questions for Coach or KK? Coach, how fitting on a day you celebrate Coach Sue, you hold a team to 26.4% shooting from the Yes, Coach Sue loves defense and rebounding, and then we de definitely did that today for her. Um, you know, that's the that's the culture that she instilled on the basketball floor here, and that's how we grind it out in the ACC. It's super important. Um, and so, yes, it was awesome to have her courtside and, and get this win for her. Jim, if you want to go next, then you can go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes, Coach. Coach, uh, obviously they didn't have an answer for Michaela. Nope. Did you, and what, looking at the film, did you figure that that would be a feature thing for you in the game tonight? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, KK is athletic, she's fast, she moves so well. Um, and what I was most proud about is, you know, in our, when we are attacking their press, their full court press, KK was a huge part of that, and she was able to get the ball, and we saw her go coast to coast in the first half and score. Um, but yes, I mean, against size, um, like they have, at just being able to be dynamic in there, get some offensive rebound, put backs, get to the free throw line. Um, she did all those things really, really well. So we were happy about that and, and ended up with, yeah, 34 points in the paint um, and not having to rely on the three ball as much was, was great. Go ahead. You know, you guys, you guys uh, held Celeste Taylor and Cheyenne Day Wilson who have been big pieces in this Duke offense this year. You held them to pretty low numbers, especially for the first three quarters. Mm -hmm. Was that a focus coming in today? Absolutely. They're amazing players. They're talented um, scorers. And so, you know, yes, that was a huge focus. Our defense in general, knowing um, how well Duke runs their sets, how much that they, they understand who they are and then what they want to get. We had to, you know, do our best to defend those and, and then make make their shots tough, you know, just contest and come up with a rebound. So um, I thought, you know, we did that well today. And um, But, yeah, those are two great players that we're definitely keying in on. Okay, can you played for um, Coach Sue last year. Seeing her back to the game for the first time this year, you know, how did that feel and how did that um, help the team? Oh, it felt good just to see her face. Like, we've been contacting each other, but, I mean, just seeing her face is just amazing. And, like, I heard on the sideline during the game. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm like, yeah. I didn't want to look at it and like, be distracted, but I love that she was in her game. And go ahead. Just off of that, you know, you guys weren't in the celebration, but you know, Coach Sue ended the, the celebration with, you know, let's go kick Duke fast today. Um, you know, just there was a lot of emotion and, and, and fire in that building today. You kind of felt that today, Coach? Yeah, I mean, that's. So fun, you know, just, and that, that's what I was saying before. This is what it's all about. This is the beauty of a college basketball story, college basketball program, you know, um, that Coach Sue has built, that it's alumni weekend. We have, you know, it's family. It really is. And you feel it most in these moments, a great ACC matchup, you know, celebrating Coach Sue who builds it with the alumni around, with these players that are so bought in the Florida State women's basketball. It is, it's, it's, it's like the pinnacle of, you know, why we do this in the moments that you just remember forever. Gotcha. Uh, Coach Brooke, um, what has Coach Sue meant to you as a player and um, as a coach? Yeah, um, she's meant the world. I mean, I, I wouldn't be sitting up here uh, if it wasn't for her. KK wouldn't be sitting up here if it wasn't for her. Uh, you know, she has invested so much love and compassion and, and time and, and care into so many individuals, myself included. And so, um, you know, just very, very thankful for what she's done and the opportunities that, because of the work she's done, that now we now have, um, and just so happy to celebrate her today. Coach, uh, several times you had told me you never thought you would end up being a coach. Mm -hmm. Now, could you stop and think where you are right now, mm -hmm. where you've been, and, and what what all that means? Yeah. Um, just, I'm, I'm glad I'm not the one directing my steps. You know, it's it's not my choice. It's it's something else. And, and uh, I've just been so blessed to be put in position time after time to be around great people, people that invest in me. And and um, and that in turn allows me to invest in, in others and put them in great positions. So um, yeah, I, I didn't, I don't know why I didn't think I wanted to be a coach, but it's exactly where I want to be. And um, I'm just, I'm thankful for the opportunity. Uh, KJ, after the game the other night, Coach, you know, 
since obviously uh, that loss to Notre Dame was going to have to be flushed quickly. Um, did you feel that um, and feel some confidence coming into today? And what did you like from from the team's performance today? I mean, from Notre Dame, like I just like. Back up that question. You know, um, it was a tough loss against your ranked team to bounce back against another ranked team to get that win. What does that do for you guys moving forward? I mean, it just shows how hard we fight no matter what we face. I mean, the number 17 doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really correlate to, I don't know, the ranking of them, but we treat it as the same thing. We got to win. Okay, well, I know what was going on here. You had your big sisters in the house. You wanted to show up for them, so that was a big motivation. I, you don't have to say it. I know. I know what's going on. But um, a real question: What about Duke's pressure? Did you? Did they do anything different than what you expected? Uh, several times you had to come back and help out, and you know, help the guards out, get the ball in, and all that. Was that kind of what you expected to see from them? Yeah, it's kind of what we expected in practice. Like we knew that they were going to help off of uh, our guards trying to drive and kicking and uh, base guarding us. We already knew and expected it to come. And, like we just had to um, change during the game. Our uh, change was pretty great. Oh, Coach, you don't play till win or Thursday this week. Sorry, what are you going to take from this game? Um, just, you know, that we did the things that win in the ACC today, you know, and, and just continuing to stay focused on our defense, stay, fo stay focused on our, our rebounding numbers, um, and, you know, the discipline of being who we are offensively, being in the right space, and but just great, you know, just knowing that this was a great win, but just like, no matter win, lose, we got to look ahead and, and be ready to, to face a good Wake Forest team.